and welcome to Tiny Code Christmas Extra, Day 3. Connect the dots. These challenges are designed for people who've already completed Tiny Code Christmas, so they may use concepts that haven't been covered yet. Today we're going to take a look at a connected dots effect. We're going to take a look at it in Tick80. And we're going to take a look at it in Pico8. So we'll start browsing the code in Tick80. And the code is provided for both platforms on the website under day three extra. So we have our distance function again. So hopefully you had some fun optimizing that out yesterday. We initialize X and Y coordinates to random uh, screen size um, here. So we've set N equal to 100. So we're going to have 100 dots initializing them randomly. And then for we need to loop through each dot and check it against every other dot and check the distance. If the distance is less than 16 pixels, then I'm going to draw a line between them. I am then going to draw a circle and then I'm going to move the X and Y coordinates by a fraction of I. So this means that they'll all move at a different speed based on their position in the array. And that works pretty well to give us a bit of variety in terms of the speed. Now, you can see that obviously they're all just moving diagonally. There isn't a great amount of variation in the direction because we're simply incrementing the X and Y. You can change that up if you want. So it's pretty much the same story over here in Pico 8. We have reduced the number just because the screen looked a bit crowded. We have our distance function. We're setting up again rand128 instead. We have our distance function. We have our line function. We have our circle fill. And again, we're moving them on by a portion of i. So and we're at 409 characters here. And if I run this again, we'll see that it's a pretty decent implementation of the basics of a connected dot effect. So there's two challenges today. So the first one is regardless of size to make the coolest looking connected dots effect that you can. And there's a lot of room for improvement on these visuals. The second challenge is to make it as small as possible. And that doesn't have to be your lovely aesthetic implementation. It can just be the base reference code. And as a limitation for the smallest possible, they only have to be moving on one axis. Best of luck.